In the mystical heart of Glastonbury, where legends and reality intertwine, scientists have unearthed tantalizing evidence that may finally unveil the enigmatic King Arthur. Ancient texts and cutting-edge research converge on this hallowed ground, revealing hidden truths beneath the earth. Fragments of long-lost artifacts, cryptic inscriptions, and enigmatic DNA findings suggest a once mythical figure might have walked these very paths. Join us as we embark on an extraordinary journey through time and history. The Legend of King Arthur King Arthur, often hailed as the once and future king, stands as a beacon of hope, chivalry, and honor in the annals of British history. His reign marked the establishment of the Round Table, the quest for the Holy Grail, and his battles against the Saxons, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural fabric of Britain. Arthur's ascension to the throne is a tale of destiny and divine right. After Uther's death, a sword magically appeared embedded in a stone, with an inscription declaring that whoever pulled it out would be the rightful King of England. Many tried, but only young Arthur, attending a tournament in London with Sir Kay, effortlessly drew the sword Excalibur from the stone, thereby revealing his true identity and claim to the throne. Upon becoming king, Arthur established a reign of justice and prosperity. Central to his court was the Round Table, a symbol of equality and unity. While Arthur's reign was marked by many significant changes, the battle against the Saxons was another defining chapter in Arthur's legacy. With the Saxons threatening the very heart of Britain, Arthur rallied his forces and decisively defeated the Saxons, ensuring peace and stability for a time. Evidence of Arthur's Existence The big question that has divided experts for years is whether there is evidence of King Arthur's existence. Many theories have emerged, but one of the most prominent pieces of evidence comes from the excavation at Tintagel Castle in Cornwall, England. Recent excavations at this historic site have unveiled a trove of artifacts and structures that offer tantalizing hints about the period in which King Arthur is believed to have lived. One of the most compelling discoveries at Tintagel was a stone inscribed with the name Arun, though not an exact match to Arthur. The similarity in nomenclature has sparked significant interest. Could this stone have belonged to or been commissioned by someone closely associated with King Arthur? The archaeological community and the general public eagerly anticipated new findings from the excavation because it revealed much about Tintagel during the 5th and 6th centuries. Remnants of walls, steps, and buildings suggest that this was not merely a military outpost, but a bustling center of trade and culture. Among the unearthed items were fragments of Mediterranean pottery, ornate metalwork, and fine glass. These artifacts indicate that Tintagel was part of a vast trade network with connections stretching as far as the eastern Mediterranean. This naturally raises the question, could one of these individuals have been King Arthur? The architectural discoveries are equally intriguing. The design of the unearthed buildings, combined with evidence of advanced masonry techniques, indicates a level of architectural and engineering knowledge that was impressive for the period. The presence of grand halls and intricate drainage systems paints a picture of a society that was both advanced and organized. Furthermore, the layout and nature of the structures suggest that Tintagel was not just a place of residence, but also a hub of administration and governance. The Estimated Resting Place of King Arthur the search for the final resting place of King Arthur leads us to Glastonbury Abbey. The monks announced that they had uncovered the king's final resting place during a period of significant reconstruction at the abbey. During these reconstruction efforts, the monks stumbled upon an ancient burial site located between two ancient pyramids in the abbey's cemetery. The monks unearthed a large leaden cross with an inscription that read, here buried the renowned King Arthur with his second wife in the Isle of Avalon. This was a profound revelation as Avalon had long been associated with Arthurian legends, believed to be the place where King Arthur was taken to heal after his final battle. 
Delving deeper, the monks found a wooden coffin made from a hollowed-out log. Inside the coffin were two bodies, a large man and a woman. The man's body fit the descriptions of King Arthur as a mighty warrior, while the woman's golden hair was still intact, leading the monks to believe she was the fair queen. The discovery sent shockwaves throughout England and Glastonbury. The narrative of the discovery was detailed in writings by chroniclers of the time, such as Gerald of Wales, the location of the grave. The exact location of the grave within the abbey became a matter of great importance. The monks recognized the significance of the discovery, and Glastonbury Abbey itself became synonymous with Arthurian legends and its religious and historical significance amplified. In the centuries that followed, the story of King Arthur's grave at Glastonbury held its place in English history and folklore. More evidence of King Arthur's existence has been traced to Somerset due to its proximity to coasts and ancient trade routes, making it a strategic location for a ruler like King Arthur. Another notable fact is that Britain frequently references Camelot as the principal court of King Arthur, though the exact location of Camelot has been a topic of debate for centuries. The Iron Age hill fort in Somerset, with its historical significance and architectural remnants, fits many of the criteria one would expect of King Arthur's court. The 20th century's excavation of the Somerset Hill Fort added further fuel to the speculation. Archaeologists uncovered artifacts and structures that hinted at a prosperous and significant settlement during the time King Arthur was believed to have reigned. Among the finds were remnants of grand halls that could have served as meeting places or courts for the ruler and his knights. Additionally, intricate metalwork, pottery, and tools were unearthed, suggesting a community that was both affluent and technologically advanced for its time. One of the most tantalizing discoveries during the excavation was the presence of inscriptions and symbols that bore a striking resemblance to those associated with Arthurian legends. While these inscriptions were weathered and, in some cases, fragmented, their mere presence in the hill fort provided a tantalizing link to the tales of King Arthur and his knights. Some scholars even posited that these symbols could have been the work of artisans who lived during Arthur's time or were inspired by the stories and wanted to pay homage to the legendary king. It is essential to note that while the findings from the excavation were exciting and suggestive, many other sites across Britain have also been proposed as potential locations for Camelot, each with its own set of evidence and arguments. However, the hill fort in Somerset is among the strongest contenders for the location of King Arthur's court. The Winchester Round Table The Winchester Round Table, housed in the Great Hall of Winchester Castle, has long been a subject of fascination and intrigue. The massive wooden table, measuring 5.5 meters in diameter and weighing over 1,200 kilograms, is adorned with the names of King Arthur's knights painted around its edge. The table's very existence, combined with its association with one of the most celebrated kings in British history, has led many to speculate about its origins. However, it is worth noting that many have tried to replicate the original round table in order to continue the legacy of King Arthur. The very design of the Winchester round table embodies the principles of equality and unity, reflecting the ideals of Arthurian legend. Even the weapons, helmets, and all artifacts displayed around the table pay homage to the legendary king. As we conclude this journey through the mysteries surrounding King Arthur, we invite you to share your thoughts on this remarkable exploration. Do you agree that Glastonbury Abbey might be the final resting place of King Arthur? We welcome your comments and encourage you to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated on our latest discoveries. Thank you for joining us in unraveling the timeless legend of King Arthur. See you next time.